Hi, this is Lynn Hunter, L-L-Y-N-H-U-N-T-E-R, and today um, we're going to be drawing a Danonychus. Um, this is a late Cretaceous, early Cretaceous, early Cretaceous, my apologies, early Cretaceous um, dinosaur uh, was found in uh, Montana, I believe. Um, I've got uh, information from Wikipedia down below under uh, where you can find out more information on the Deinonychus. It's like I used to call them Deinonychus. Um, basically, it means terrible claw because of the um, big claw on the inside of its foot. It has four toes um, on its rear foot. And the one claw, it's like it's this huge, terrible claw. Um, it was originally uh, thought not to be feathered, but now that we have more information on dinosaurs, it's one of the ones that um, is very bird-like. And they believe that now that there's enough information on the skeletons and the... Um, the uh, fossils to realize that the bird was in fact, or bird, <laughs> I'm doing real well here today, my apologies, um, that the dinosaur was feathered. And in the past, I've drawn him without feathers because they hadn't fully determined that dinosaurs at that point had feathers, and now we have determined that quite a few of them did. And the Deinonychus is one of them. Um, I did a dinosaur ABC coloring book back in the uh, late 80s. And you can still find it through Dover Publications. And I did the Deinonychus um, without feathers. Did them basically like if you'd have a chicken running around without feathers on it. Kind of the same thing. We, we felt that most of the dinosaurs were that way. And there are many more um, really, really good dinosaur out, artists out there now who are putting the actual feathers on them because they've got more information on the biology of dinosaurs and the evolution of dinosaurs. We found more and more bones. We found more and more fossils to give us the uh, understanding that it's just as if you had a chicken carcass buried for a long period of time. The... Um, feathers would probably be eaten by bacteria and um, other micro uh, microorganisms and but you would find that the bones might still be there and the same thing with with dinosaurs is that the with the fossilization of the skeletons you'll get the skeletons, of course, but if they had feathers, a lot of times they're not there. And with Archaeopteryx and a lot of recent discoveries, um, a lot of the ones that have been made in China and um, new and more recent discoveries, they have found more and more of the, uh, the bones. Now, I'm switching here between, this is a, a zebra F103, and this is one of my favorites. It's a big stick, and I will switch between the two of them. Um, the bit right now, what you'll find a lot with bit gives you a thicker line, but you'll have a buildup on the. Uh, you can see I've been painting, so I've got an extra paper towel over here that's got some of my paint stuff on it. But anyways, um, it's you. You clean off the tip of the ballpoint pen. Um, to keep from the blopping that's like being done right here on the, the toe when I did it. So I'm, I'm, I'm switching between the two. Both um, ballpoint pens, whether, whether you're using a Bic or you're using a Zebra, whether you're using a fine point or you're using a medium point, you're going to have that buildup of the ink on the back of the ball, which I find um, actually is more interesting then it is a detriment. Okay, now it's got a little toe on the outside, so I'm adding that little toe on the outside. So it's got four toes, it's got one toe here, it's got a larger toe to the outside, a smaller toe on the inside, and then on the very inside is that big clawed toe. 
um, which they believe would be raised and would work more or less like a scythe. It would um, ratchet down to um, tear out, um, like, there are different ways. If you go on the internet, um, there are a couple of sites that'll show how they believe that the, the Deinonychus or um, basically raptor-like dinosaurs like this one would use that claw. Another um, dinosaur of a little bit different, I think, I believe they're later in the time period, um, the Velociraptor. I probably will use a Velociraptor um, for B, um, which the Deinonychus is closely related to. And Velociraptors are over, um, have been found over in China primarily. But, um, and they're also of a different time period. But, uh, put another claw there. Now, the, with ballpoint pen, you can tell, I do a little bit of, um, I'm a very sketchy artist. I, I have a tendency to put down a sketchy line and then I clean it up by going over it again. I'll usually go over the same line anywhere from from three to ten times to um, get that nice smooth line. I've never been a person who can really lay down that beautiful smooth line once like some artists can. I have a tendency to carve my drawings um, like you would if, if, or sand them down. I mean, it's, I continually, like I said, I do a little bit of a skittery line and a buildup. And that's a matter of style. I mean, there are some people who can lay down that beautiful, clean ink line that just, um, especially if you see brush artists will lay down a beautiful, clean ink, ink line. I've never quite been able to do that. Now, with the Dononicus here with the, the claws, I mean, he's got five toes in their clawed hand but because this is a small illustration and the fingers are lying close to each other um, I'm not really going to show those and then their their arm um, they believe had like feathers on it like a short short wing so that um, it could give it um, a little bit, it would probably be, um, give it agility, but, and, but not real true flight. Um, I think that with feathers, they initially, um, were meant for combination of insulation, um, started out like fur, because they're technically feathers, even on, on birds today, they're modified skin cells. So the thing is, is that um, they probably started out by um, the dinosaurs getting lighter and as different temperature climate changes, they probably used them to keep warm. But also as they developed, um, they also found that they could use them um, for, uh, it would give a, a bird like, or a, a dinosaur like this ability to, um, maybe leap better because the the tail is long and stiff so it would be good for balance and it would be good for short distance jumping and the thing is is that way of evolution works if something is is to an advantage usually that advantage will get passed on to the next generation and I give him a little beak and I want to show his teeth a bit here. They have um, razor-like teeth that go down the length of the jaw. Because with this particular dinosaur, like I said, I want to show like it has feathers when I paint it. And in the poem that I'm, I'm putting with it in, uh, in the book, I'm pointing out that it has teeth. I want to make sure I showed the cheat. And I'm trying to duplicate the sh shape of the D on the inside here. He's like climbing up a rock. And I want to put, I think I'm going to put, I want 
to put a little bit of green in the background, so I'm going to put a little plant life here. Okay. There we go. And that is my feathered Deinonychus. And I will go over the pen line again after I paint it as well because um, when I'm painting, if you're doing um, ballpoint pen, you're always going to have some pigment with the watercolor going over the top of it where um, the lines won't be clear and you'll want to go back in and thicken up the lines. So right now I'm also keeping it a little bit light so that I can I, just thicken up those lines after I paint it. So there is our ballpoint pen drawing of a Deinonychus D. Thank you for stopping by. This is Lynn Hunter. Please subscribe, like my channel. Um, come and watch the next one. Thank you much. Bye-bye.